Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin the repair, make sure the engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Your first step is to remove the starter rope from the rope guide. Next, remove the screws to release the engine cover. Feed the starter handle through the cover and set the cover aside. Now remove the screws securing the gas tank and move the gas tank aside. Be aware that some gasoline may spill out. Next, remove the mounting screw securing the dipstick tube and remove the tube from the engine. Keep in mind that some engine oil may spill. Remove the bolt securing the blower housing and pull the housing off. Depending on how the old recoil starter is mounted, remove the bolts to release it from the housing or use a 3 16 inch drill bit to drill out any rivets or spot welds. Make sure this is performed on a sturdy surface. You're now ready to install the new recoil starter. Correctly position the starter on the blower housing and secure it with the provided washers, nuts, and bolts. Position the blower housing on the engine and secure the bolts. Carefully insert the dipstick tube into the engine sump and secure the mounting screw. Reposition the gas tank and reinstall the screws. Feed the starter handle through the engine cover, then align the cover and secure it with the screws. Loop the starter rope onto the guide and reattach the spark plug wire and boot.